ACT CRAM, Conventions of Standard English Usage, Verb Agreement, Multiple Subjects and Multiple Verbs, Knee Medicine, Antidote for Ignorance, Agreement, Multiple Subjects and Multiple Verbs. It's easy to see that the subject is plural when it's a plural noun. For example, the dogs are barking. Here we have our plural subject, the dogs, and our plural verb phrase, are barking. But sometimes the subject is a compound of two singular nouns joined by the conjunction and. Let's explore an example so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. The bulldog and the beagle is barking. Even though each of these words is singular, we have our first subject, the bulldog, which is singular, and our second subject, the beagle, which is also singular. The two of them together make a plural subject because they're joined by the conjunction and. However, if you take a look at the verb selected, is is a singular verb. Let's correct our verb, making it plural. The bulldog and the beagle are barking. This is a correct statement. Similarly, a single subject can have two verbs joined by an. Let's take a look at this example. The dog eats meat and loves bones. Here, each verb, eats and loves, agrees with the same singular subject, the dog. Therefore, this is a correct statement. We could write the same sentence as two separate clauses. The dog eats meat and the dog loves bones. Though it would be a bit repetitive, it's still a correct statement.